as well as symbolism, Freemasons and other secret societies are said to use certain hand signs and gestures. Countless celebrities, politicians, rock bands are seen doing the sign of the horn. The signs of the horns is used during religious rituals in Wicca to invoke or represent the horned god as well as the Church of Satan. The meaning varies around the world. For example, Hookham Horns is a slogan and hand signal of the University of Texas. And one of the earliest usages is thought to be from Gautama Buddha that used the gesture for the expulsion of demons and the removal of obstacles, sickness and negative thoughts. The hidden hand is used by Freemasons, the Illuminati and other secret societies the world over. They consider themselves the hidden hand of the world. It symbolises the way they see themselves as directing, manipulating and controlling us without the masses noticing. The hidden hand was used widely in the last two centuries by people like Joseph Stalin, Jimmy Savile, Napoleon, Mozart and many others have either been photographed or depicted in paintings using the gesture. Freemasons, the Illuminati and other secret societies are thought to be obsessed with symbolism, gestures and many so-called conspiracy theories claim that many, if not all the world's celebrities are actually under a secret oath. Many celebrities and Freemasons symbolise this by covering their lips with their finger. This is said to symbolise the celebrities' powerlessness. They have been sworn to secrecy. Their lips are sealed.
countless celebrities have also posed covering one eye. This is said to represent the one eye Dajjar, spoken about in the Holy Hadith. Dajjar is considered by most to be the Islamic version of the Antichrist. According to the Hadith, Muhammad is said to have prophesied that the one-eyed deceiver will be the last in line of a series of 30 deceivers. Muhammad is also reported to have said, ad Jazar is blind in one eye and his eye looks like a bulging grey. Zechariah verse 11 chapter 16 tells us, The Lord said to me, Take again yourself for the equipment of a foolish shepherd. For behold, I am going to raise up a shepherd in the land who will not care for the perishing, sick the scattered, heal the broken, or sustain the one standing, but will devour the flesh of the fat sheep and tear off their hooves. To the worthless shepherd who leaves his flock, a sword will be in his arm and his right eye, his arm will be totally withered and his right eye will be blind.